We don't really view the Witch Doctor as a replacement for the Necromancer. Uh, the Necromancer is a really, really cool character. Um, so cool that he's, you know, we, when we thought about him as a class, um, we've always kind of gone, hmm, can we actually improve upon him? Which is one of the things that, you know, we really try to focus on with each character class. And, um, but for the Witch Doctor, no. I mean, if, if we ever decided to make a Necromancer, um, the Witch Doctor wouldn't prohibit us doing something like that. Hi, I'm Medieval Dragon from BlissPlanet.com and DiabloFans.com. Hello. Thanks. Ask in the forum, how does the gear system differ from Diablo 2? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Sure. How, is, how does the gear system differ from Diablo 2? The gear system, like items and, and things like that? Correct. Um, well, we have a whole bunch of new kind of features for items that we want to do, but the core system for, um, for items is not really drastically changed. We feel like Diablo 2, probably one of the best things about Diablo 2 was how they handled items, how they handled drops, uh, rewards. The structure there is so good that really that's been something we've wanted to maintain and find improvements for. Um, so there's lots of other, you know, ways that you're going to be able to make items better and new ways to kind of, you know, recover items. Um, as Wyatt mentioned, we want to make it more friendly in cooperative games, um, but we, those features are kind of, you know, not finalized, and so we'll be discussing them in the future. Yeah, in Diablo 2, you got a lot of uh, overpowered people in the battle net. Uh, what are you going to prevent that from happening in uh, Diablo 3? Um, and s can you be more specific? Uh, about the cheats, uh, people cheats. that logged on to Battle.net yeah. and co came on with overpowered people. Well, um, I can't talk about specifics at this time because a lot of that is still in production, but the new version of Battle.net, um, it, you know, cheats and being able to stop, you know, hacks and things like that is a huge focus. Um, and the security measures we already have in place are much, much stronger. You know, being able to prevent cheats is one of our biggest focus, and it's something that we really want to make sure, because we realize, as much as you do, that it really hurts the community when stuff like that happens. Hello. Um, I would like to know if you were going to keep all the sacred events that were in Diablo 2, for example. You could use a scroll to get to a special level uh, in Diablo 2, so I'd like to know if you you kept this thing in Diablo 3. Like, are we going to have secrets in Diablo 3? Yeah, that you, you not talk about, you know, you have to discover by yourself when you're playing. Yeah, just, you know, super secret stuff. Uh, that's a secret. <laughs> Hi, um, my question was uh, whether single player and cooperative was going to be balanced. Like, I know in World of Warcraft, there are, only, there are some things that can only be tackled by a large group. So... Um, are there going to be, is it going to be the same way in Diablo or can everything be tackled by a single player? I think a, another way to look at that question is are there rewards? That's often what people are concerned about that can only be achieved in large groups. Uh, I can definitely say, that, I mean, the game experience is obviously going to be different when you're cooperative just by its very nature, but there is no item currently planned that drops for groups only, anything that can drop for a group, you could very well also get by yourself. Um, since 2001, with the release of Lords of Destruction, we haven't had much news. What's been going on? We've been working. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it, the development of a Blizzard product is sometimes a long affair, and certainly what we've been working on is trying to establish a game that we know is worthy of being a Blizzard game, worthy of our fans, and um, you know, looks awesome, plays awesome, and this is how long it took us to be ready. Hi, I really like the option to choose a male and female character. I'm wondering if they'll have different attributes or will it just be the same skin for a different class? No, there won't be any differences other than, you know, other than visual appearance. Um, it's pretty tough to take gender and do one class slightly different than the other, if there's any kind of even perceived imbalance in the classes, then we're seen to favor one gender or the other. And so we don't really want, we don't want that to happen. So no, they'll, they'll be, it's primarily an aesthetic choice. Hello. Um, I wanted to know if uh, the system requirements of Diablo 3 will be very high 
if a computer that runs World of Warcraft can run it perfectly, and maybe a little hint if uh, you will use DirectX 10 or still DirectX 9, for example? Well, we haven't settled on our system specs yet, um, but it's always Blizzard's goal to support a very broad set of systems. I can tell you that I couldn't tell you whether it could run on a WoW system or not. Um, it's, that's a broad set of systems, um, but we do want to support um, very, you know, as low a system requirements as we can. We don't make super high-end games. It's not our, our focus. Um, and also, um, I forgot exactly. Oh, uh, your uh, DirectX 10. No, we don't. I will say we don't require DirectX 10 or, um, you know, you. at this time, and I don't think we will at any time. Uh, my question is, uh, do you plan on creating some uh, map editor for D3? Uh, I, I know I do like. Uh, and the question is a uh, map editor? Are yes. we planning a map editor? Um, we have not nailed any kind of specifics about mod development or map editors or anything like that. Uh, what I will say is that what we found is that um, the Diablo series in general and our game specifically are not very friendly to mod development, mainly because of the random nature of the game. They're pretty, it's pretty complex to get content into it. Um, and so as a result, um, it's, never, it's not been a big focus for us. Um, but we haven't, we haven't really decided on whether we're going to do anything like that at this time. In Diablo 2, there were uh, rune words. Will you be keeping and maybe expanding this system? Hmm. No comment at this time. All right, that concludes our questions and answers session for this panel. Thank you very much to Jay Wyatt and Eric.